Welcome to the Deform Custom Deformer tutorial. Um, right off the bat, I'll just say uh, it's pretty important that you have a decent understanding of how the job system works uh, to make your own deformer. It's simple. Like if you if you haven't learned it, it's not that hard to learn. Um, but you do need to know. And then it would also help to have a little bit of an understanding of the new mathematics uh, library. If you are familiar with shader syntax, um, it's similar to that, but in C sharp. So you know whatever. Uh, Okay, cool. So with that out of the way, let's create a script and I'm gonna call this offset deformer. That is the type of deformer we're creating because it's very simple and quick. Um, so offset deformer, open it up in your text editor once it compiles. Um, and I'm just gonna start off by getting rid of all of this uh, whoops, clutter. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to put this in the deform namespace or you can just use the deform namespace uh, because we wanna use the deform system. Um, then next we're gonna inherit from the deformer class because we want this to be a deformer and then implement it. Um, so right now you'll see uh, we've got an enum called data flags and a method called process. So data flags is literally just used to, to tell the deform system what type of data you're modifying. Um, so in this example, we're gonna be changing vertices. So all I have to do is say data flags dot vertices. And now deform will know that we're changing the vertices and that needs to be copied to the mesh. Um, so cool. If, and it, if you need to change more than one thing, you can use the OR operator if you're not familiar with that. Uh, it just lets you use multiple parts of, have multiple enum options in a single enum. So we could say, uh, we wanna change the vertices and the UVs. You just do that and now it knows that we're changing vertices and UVs. Uh, cool. So next, the process method. This is this is where we schedule any, the work, the job that needs to modify the mesh data. So what is mesh data? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's just, uh, it's the deformables mesh data. So deformables are gonna send their mesh data to this process method and then we're gonna process it. Um, the most important part of this mesh data class uh, in this example is the dynamic native uh, field, which it holds native mesh data. What is native mesh data? It's just a bunch of native arrays that contain uh, mesh data. So, you know, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, so probably the first thing we wanna do is actually create the job. So I'm gonna create a struct. It can be private, public, you put it wherever you want it. Um, private struct, and I'm just gonna call this offset job. And it's going to be i job parallel four. And then you wanna implement that interface. Um, cool, so we've got this job. Uh, what do we need to offset vertices? Well, we need the vertices. So let's create a public native array, um, which we need to use unity.collections. And then this is gonna hold float threes. Because uh, if you remember, you need to know about the mathematics library. Um, this is just the mathematics version of a vector three and deform uses the mathematics versions of everything for mesh data. So you can also use that uh, namespace and we'll just call this vertices. Uh, the next thing we need to offset vertices is the offset. So I'm just gonna create a, whoops, a public float three offset. Um, super cool. Uh, now to offset the vertices, we just have to go, whoops, we just have to go vertices, index plus equals offset. Super simple. So this is our job that offsets the vertices already done. Um, now all we need to do is schedule it. So process uh, takes in a job handle dependency. Um, so it, it's basically just a chain of work that has already been scheduled. And then it once it assumes that we are going to add our own work onto that chain and then return the new end of that chain in a job handle. So we're basically receiving work, stacking our work on top, and then re returning that new end of the work, that new tip of the chain. So all I have to do is uh, we can say uh, job equals new offset job, uh, and then we'll say offset equals, we need to assign its offset, but we don't have one created yet, so let's create a public vector three called offset. Um, vector threes and flow threes are interchangeable, like they, they cast implicitly, so if you want to have a vector three kind of facing your other code, um, but then it uses a float three inside the job, that's perfectly fine. So we can just say offset equals offset. And then we'll say vertices equals data dot dynamic native dot vertex buffer. So the, this is basically, these are the vertices, this is the array of vertices that will get copied to the mesh. Whatever changes we make here is gonna be applied to the mesh. So cool. We've created a job. Now we just need to schedule it. So we can say uh, var handle equals job dot schedule. Uh, the array length uh, is the number of vertices. So we can actually just say we could say data dot dynamic data 
dynamic native dot vertex buffer dot length, or we can just say data dot length, which is just a shortcut, a property that kind of little utility property that shortens that up. So inner loop batch count, you can always use default batch count, which is just the default deformer batch count, or you can do your own. So we could say, uh, let's just say 128. Um, I'm not gonna explain what that means because again, you need to you should probably understand how the job system works before you do this. Um, and then it's very important, you wanna obviously pass dependency to it. So this is the end of the previous, uh, of, of the already created batch of work. So any previous deformers have uh, been scheduled already. Um, we want to add our work to that, so that's what this dependency is. We're stacking our work on the end of it, um, and then we can just say return handle. Now, if you use the job system a lot, you probably know this can be simplified further. So we could actually just say return So we just create the job and schedule it immediately from it and then return that scheduled handle. Um, so cool, if we actually go into Unity, we should be good to go. Um, so now if I just select, I already have a deformable created. If I add this offset deformer to it, um, now pay attention to the modified data. Right now it's, it's registering that we're modifying the normals and the bounds. As soon as we add this, you'll see the vertices are now registered as modified data because right here we're saying we're modifying the dirt vertices. So remember, that's always important. Whatever data you modify, you want to uh, define here. Um, so now all we have to do is change the offset and boom, we are modifying the mesh. Um, now, uh, one kind of some final steps that are important to take um, is we can actually make this run way faster. Now it, it's running great, like it's multi-threaded, cool, that's awesome. Um, but we can make it run even faster and it's literally as simple as saying burst compile and then making sure we're using unity.burst and just like that it's going to run faster now i'm not going to pull up the profiler but it's running like 10 times faster now at least which is awesome um so then the next little fun little thing is we can add a deformer attribute um and we'll give it a name so we'll say equals offset whoops i can't spell um say description equals offsets the mesh um and then we'll say the type equals type of, and then obviously you, this is the, this is the uh, well you'll see. We'll say equals offset deformer, um, obviously. And then uh, we could even say the category equals category dot normal. Um, it's, it defaults to normal, so we can actually just remove that. Um, so now if we go back, we should see it pop up somewhere in this list. So uh, I believe it's, uh, da, 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 da. where is it if I can do the alphabet um, I can also just type offset right there offset deformer so I can remove it from here click offset it gets automa added automatically it's in the system if we hover over it says offsets the mesh perfect um, super cool so that's that's the, the absolute basics um, if you want to see some more advanced stuff all of the other deformers are open source so you can see um, you know how if I if I take the uh, Let's grab the twist deformer. Um, see, like, how, how, how do I get them to work in world space, right? How, how do you get it to work in world space? Well, you can just open it up and see. Uh, it's doing some matrix stuff. Deform, deformer utils, like, get mesh to access space. And then you can look at the jobs and see how they work. Um, tons of cool stuff. So those are the basics, but there's so much more you can do. Uh, and I want to see the cool stuff you guys make with it. Thanks for watching.